South-South Cooperation is a broad framework of collaboration among countries of the South, whereby two or more developing countries collaborate in political, economic, social, cultural, environmental, and technical domains. They share knowledge, skills, expertise, and resources to meet their own development goals. Cooperation can also be in the form of foreign direct investment, technology transfers, sharing of solutions and experts, or moving towards regional integration. Traditional donor countries also get involved in triangular cooperation with the South-South initiatives in the form of funding, training, management, and technological systems. وهذه الأهداف تعتبر بصفة عامة أو أو الأولويات هي بصفة عامة أولويات بالنسبة لأغلب بلدان الجنوب ومن هنا تأتي أهمية العمل سويا للاستفادة من تجاربنا الناجحة خاصة وأن القطاع الفلاحي يواجه تحديات جديدة باستمرار نذكر منها التغيرات المناخية مخاطر الأسواق العالمية كذلك التطورات التكنولوجية وأهمية مواكبتها. The Partnership Initiative on South-South and Triangular Cooperation for Agricultural Development and Enhanced Food Security aims to systematically promote South-South cooperation among the participating countries as well as other countries by identifying, pilot testing and documenting successful models and solutions ready for replication. IFAD's business model is pretty much focused on peer-to-peer uh, -peer exchanges. Countries learn uh, from each other, countries have different experiences and that feature is really prominent in the South-South and Triangular Corporations. Uh, learning in itself needs to be complemented by financial flows and IFAD being a financier is also well uh, positioned to make that uh, match between knowledge and, and finance and in for the benefit of the rural inhabitants. The South-South and Triangular Cooperation Partnership Initiative is supported by the International Fund for Agricultural Development as the key funding partner, the United Nations Office for South-South Cooperation as the key organizing partner, and the Islamic Development Bank that has catalyzed the expanded geographic coverage of the initiative. The South-South and Triangular Cooperation has delivered a variety of results. Online Solutions Exchange Portal, mobile application called Harvestit, South-South Knowledge Exchange Workshops, follow-up in-depth trainings, follow-up expert exchanges, thematic knowledge products, South-South Cooperation Capacity Development Training on the basis of the United Nations System Staff College, high-level ministerial meetings. South-South Cooperation is a critical element, a critical means of implementation to achieve the 2030 Agenda. The solutions developed in the Global South are very relevant to other developing countries and therefore we can reduce the cost and the trajectory of development by sharing our experiences. agro.southsouthworld.org is a solutions mapping portal that features the 73 solutions and mechanisms recorded to date. Solutions in agriculture from across the countries are documented and placed online to support matchmaking between knowledge providers and solution seekers. Grouped in various topics of agriculture, each solution provides structured information on the mechanism that led to success and the contacts of a solutions owner to initiate direct communication. Women and youth are in focus. Harvestit mobile application is available for free on iOS and Android currently available in seven languages created upon request from the countries. Following the success of its use in Uzbekistan, it now covers several countries' content developed from rural producers and farmers. Easy to use, it works without the internet and can be shared from a mobile phone. Well, this uh, application is a first touch with the quality management schemes. Uh, it's uh, considered as a, as a first rendezvous between the quality management system and the farmers. Üreticilerin toprak sağlığını anlaması ve toprak koruyucu uygulamalarla ilgili bilgi sahibi olması aynı zamanda uzun yıllar boyunca kaliteli ürün alabilmeleri için toprakla ilgili bilgilerin artması gerekiyor. Bu nedenle e, bu uygulama Türkiye üreticileri için çok önemli. South-South Knowledge Exchange workshops have been organized around eight thematic areas, benefiting a total of 450 participants and featuring a total of over 130 solutions.
Identifying common needs and specific capacities for participating countries, South-South Knowledge Corridors are created so each partner country can share its expertise with the others. Each country hosts a workshop on a specific topic, identifying the best homegrown solutions. Further collaborations are then established between experts from different countries. All the presentations of these solutions are available on the website. The successful models of farmer-based organizations training in Turkey in 2016 was attended by 26 participants from four countries who learned ready-to-use models of cooperatives. Specialized training in Hungary in 2016 gathered biotechnology experts from seven countries who improved their theoretical and practical knowledge in modern poultry breeding. Training in Morocco in 2017 allowed 15 participants from seven countries to learn how to create and operate modern tools to support farmer needs. Expert exchanges are accumulating in a precious transfer of knowledge. 89 experts have participated in 34 visits, establishing a basis of partnership among their centers of excellence. Through individual and group training, they are learning and sharing knowledge and technology. In this small project, two institutions cooperated, our institute in Hungary and the Turkish Institute in Kepes Antalya. Fish species represent uh, a special interest in both countries. Uh, we uh, exchanged uh, with our experience during uh, our mutual visits. A special aspect was the Turkish interest in uh, extending the um, existing breeding programs, uh, putting a breeding goal uh, at cold resistance common carp strains. The benefits of the initiatives are really uh, um, visible in the amount of technical, top-notch technical exchange having been shared along three corridors. Uh, we've selected three themes which are of interest uh, for the countries in the region uh, related to water management, uh, related to strengthening farmer-based associations as well as agricultural biotechnologies. And those themes have been the anchors of the initiative and several uh, events and several publications and several exchanges among experts were undertaken to further the uh, objective of the initiative. To support countries in promoting their expertise, a series of publications have been initiated on the best homegrown innovative solutions addressing agricultural development in the network. Regional reports each cover a topic of the Knowledge Exchange Corridors. In collaboration with the United Nations System Staff College, South Center and the Islamic Development Bank, a series of capacity building trainings have been elaborated and delivered to 20 key staff from the Ministries of Agriculture in eight countries for a total of 164 participants. This has led to improved understanding that has strengthened the coordination and implementation of the South-South cooperation. Two high-level ministerial meetings were held in conjunction with global South-South Development Expos. Dubai 2016 focused on coordination, policy-level commitments, and national plans. Antalya 2017 allowed the review of achievements to date, identifying new directions set in a joint statement. По государственным частным партнерству мы э, получили э, хороший э, опыт. Э, 
وأود أن أؤكد كممثلة لتونس على أهمية مبادرة التعاون جنوب جنوب والتعاون الثلاثي للتنمية الفلاحية والأمن الغذائي باعتبارها تأتي في صلب اهتماماتنا السياسية في مجال التنمية الفلاحية ببلادنا وهي التي تهدف بالأساس إلى دعم مساهمة القطاع في الدخل الدخل الداخلي الخام وفي دفع ديناميكية المناطق الريفية كذلك تهدف إلى تعزيز الأمن الغذائي في بلادنا وفي إلى تنمية الموارد الطبيعية والمحافظة على استدامتها. Many intangible additional results have been triggered by the South-South and Triangular cooperation, such as new bilateral agreements, new projects started by ministries, and South-South cooperation strategies developed and established independently. Support to development of national South-South cooperation strategies in agriculture was provided to Kyrgyzstan, Sudan and Uzbekistan.